So welcome everybody. We've got professional camera, we've got Instagram, we've got Facebook, and best of all, we've got Toronto's own Ill Vibe here in the Yangaroo HQ with us. And uh, we're gonna start it off here. Um, Illy is gonna perform a song from the new album, Anti-Gravity. I believe it's called Woklahoma. It is. All right, so I'll, I'll let you get yep. at it. Thank you very much. What's up, everybody? What's up, internet? I'm new to this internet thing, but... Hey, I don't got no hoodie wraps, I am not that good at that, I Tried the hard shit, it was hard, I had to put it back. Now I'm on a code set, cooling with a billionaire. Kid, I'm feeling brilliant, can't believe it. Am I really here? I am barely rap, just know it. I ain't so no crap before, and anti-violence, can't believe that it's the status quo. Ain't trying to preach, it's just I'm wondering where the beach is And I'm hoping that you join me, we can smoke under the bleachers Live it up and get it even, feeling broke, feeling beat I know European cut like by no Ain't no famous rappers in my people least I'm not that I know I'm the shine on my no no move to Toronto Made it so I could make it Just to be in the combo is amazing baby lately I'm lucky stay on my mind I'm trying to live life A couple days in the line said I'm trying to live life Yo. Fuck the shade, I'm a blaze it a couple J's at a time Feeling weak, live it up and get it even Feeling broke, feeling beat, feeling jump up in the deep and Feeling woke, ooh oh 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 Feeling broke, ooh oh 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 Feeling broke, I'm feeling broke, feeling woke I'm feeling weak, I live it up Let's see if I can tell this. Cause I know that you owe what you know, and you just ignore. If you don't, then you broke or you blind, and you just ignore. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. Yes, I know. Oh, oh. Yes, I know. That you are. feeling hope, feeling weak, live it up and get it even. Feeling broke, feeling beat, feeling jump up in it. I'm feeling woke, ooh oh oh oh. I'm feeling broke, ooh oh oh oh. Hey, I'm feeling woke, I'm feeling weak. That's Oklahoma. Right. Play a new song. All right. All right. Hey, the crowd goes wild. Back to work. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone over there, back to work. I don't want any more applause for you people. All right. Thanks. Sorry. Sorry that, that was great. I, that, that was a hot tune. <laughs> Is that going to be the, the next single? That's, that's the next single. Uh, we're currently working on a music video for it. Uh, we're really trying to shoot bigger and better music videos that are even more infectious. So we're really taking our time. The video's not ready yet, so it's going to be coming out in probably a month or two. Oklahoma, that, that, that's you know, a clever name, clearly. Yeah. Um, what's the, 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 the reasoning, the genesis of, of, of that name, of the song in general? Yeah. Well, uh, the song's about me feeling a little bit disenfranchised with like where hip-hop is at right now. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of trap music. I, I played the Cardi B album to death. Uh, but a lot of the time, what I'm hearing doesn't really relate kind of to my universe, you know? Um, you know, I don't sell drugs. I sold a little bit of weed in high school. Uh, I'm not really pro-violence. Uh, I'm a feminist, and so in a lot of cases, some of the stuff I hear in hip hop doesn't really link in with like the stuff I believe the most. And so I thought, instead of me kind of hiding that aspect of myself away, like it's corny to be pro woman, you know what I mean? I thought let's make a record that kind of celebrates it, and it's a party tune, but it's a party tune in my universe. It's a party tune where like 
you can be conscious and still get drunk. You know, and that's mm -hmm. sort of like what Oklahoma is about. Uh, it's not about Oklahoma at all, although I've got a lot of love for o OKC, uh, but I just thought it'd be really funny instead of just calling it woke uh, to throw a Lahoma on it. Right. Here at Yanger DMDS, we work with a lot of aspiring, emerging, up and coming artists. Um, that are looking to get exposure in, in media, on the radio, videos on TV. Um, do you have any advice? One of the most common problems uh, or mistakes that I see made, and I made this mistake as well, so it doesn't come from me being on a high horse. If anything, it's a, I'm a cautionary tale. Uh, is early on in my career, I was so eager to get content out and to get feedback from my peers and my friends and the internet. Uh, I was broadcasting poorly mixed, poorly produced content for the world to hear and to digest. Mm -hmm. And people from a distance don't know that you are just in your practice phase. You know, they, it feels like you are taking a real swing at it with your poorly written, poorly mixed, poorly produced music. Um, and so when I talk to young artists who really want it, the ones who look me in the eyes and say like, man, I really, like, I don't want a job, I want to be on the road touring all the time like you are. I say, take your time and build something undeniable and then, and get feedback from your friends kind of privately and then debut that so you get some momentum out the gate. You get a little bit of excitement behind you where it's like, oh, who's this guy with this talent? Who's this guy with this perspective or this girl with this cool voice that we haven't heard before? Instead of them hearing that you're kind of a young keener who hasn't got it together yet, and then you need to kind of win them back over when you do get it together later on in your career. Right. And I spent the last couple of years uh, locally in Toronto uh, repairing some of <laughs> those emails I sent when I was 19 years old with really horribly mixed music uh, where it's like, hey, check out my album. We really do this these days. You know, and I was a kid back then and uh, now I'm a grown ass man and uh, I think you'll appreciate where we've, where we've gone from there. So that's, a, I, that's something I wish someone had said to me at like 18 years old. But Thanks for chatting with us. Um, let's get rich. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Piggy bank, pop about that bigger bank, pop it. Bigger check, drop it on my bigger bands, pop it. Bigger than my pops, I'm bigger than big papa shit. Talk a big yacht, that diddy will flip off a talking big piles of paper. Wondering where I put it all. Buy a hater neighborhood just to put my yard. Buy a neighborhood just to put my yard. We celebrating on the boulevard. Let's get rich. Hey. Let's get rich, hey, let's make lots of money, let's pile it all up, can't take nothing from me, but I don't give a fuck, let's get rich, hey, let's get rich, hey, let's make lots of money, let's pile it all up. Can't take nothing from me, but I don't give up. I'm on that work until nothing else gonna work grind. I work smarter whenever I'm in my worst times. Like Pearl Harbor, band back for the first time. It hurts harder, reminding me of that first dime. Made a honey, made a thousand, made a ten K. Made a honey that ain't nothing going ten straight. Run it back. Nothing in the safe, cause ill shit costs money and none of it is safe. Let's get rich, hey, let's get rich, hey, let's make lots of money, let's pile it all up. Can't take nothing from me, but I don't give a fuck. Let's get rich, hey, let's get rich, let's make lots of money, let's pile it all up. Can't say nothing from me, but I don't give a fuck. Let me tell y'all, whenever I do a show, I always tell a little story in this breakdown. <laughs> and it's about how hard it is to make money in the rap game. And I quit my day job five years ago. And three years ago, I owed $30,000 to the CRA. Because the first two, day, two years were the hardest thing I ever went through in my life. But as of today, the CRA owes me money. Let's get rich. Hey, <laughs> let's get rich. Hey, let's make lots of money. Let's hide it all up. Can't take nothing from me, but I don't give a fuck. Let's get rich. Hey, let's get rich. Shout out to the CRA. I appreciate your patience. No interest rates. No, they gave me an 
interest, they forgave my interest rates. I appreciate that. Shout out to Sandra at the CRA. We good? See you Friday. This track's for you. Anti Gravity Friday. Peace. All right. Thank you, Elvide. Get up and get it, even feeling broke, feeling beat.